and it's so juicy and still so juicy and so tender in the middle you guys Woo! what's poppin my youtube fam we are back today with another spectacular video you guys so today i didn't know that we are doing cornish hens today you guys but i didn't know if i wanted a deep fried cornish hen or a nice roasted buttery slow roasted um cornish hen so of course what are we doing both because i'm an old dear so you guys we are going to start with the um roasted hen i just have it in a nice little bacon dish here and i just lined it with foil um our hen is nice and washed off cleaned off hello hen how are you so let's start with stuffing this bad boy here's the butt and what i did is just chopped up a little bit i kept them in big chunks here's some white onion Okay, I'm just going to try to get into this a little. White onion. Here's some celery. Stuffing in there. I got a carrot. This is just going to add for more flavor, you guys, with your hen. Um, you, could, you could season the inner cavity before you stuff it, but this bird is not going to take a lot to... Um, make this bird flavorful. So I'm not really worried about the inside cavity. So, here's another little onion. Okay, more celery. Pack that in there nice and good. Make sure if you see, now I'll try to, if you see anything else, like any, it goes some hair that was hiding from me. Let me go over here and re-rinse this, you guys. Hold on, one second. I don't want to drink. One second, you guys. Sometimes it hides from you. Sometimes it hides from you. Okay, so stuff that in there. Stuff that in there. Okay. So that should be good, you guys. Okay, so now we have our cavity stuff. So we are going to season this bad boy. So because it's like the holidays, you know, I kind of wanted to go in a, I wanted some holiday flavors. Um, hold on, make sure you can see it. I wanted to go with some holiday type of seasoning, you guys. So I'm gonna season this with some celery salt. And like I said, this bird is gonna be, it's easy for it to get overly salty, you guys, so be careful. So a little bit of season, um, not seasoning salt, y'all. Uh, celery salt. Okay. So we got the, from the ruta to the tuta, okay. We got some garlic powder. Of course, this is powder, so you can go kind of heavy on the garlic powder. Okay. Garlic powder. Hope you guys can see it. My, is the bird so small? My hands all in the way. A little bit of garlic powder okay we are going to season it with some poultry seasoning poultry seasoning holiday flavors y'all holiday flavors get under that wing turn your bird over mm-hmm don't worry about if your stuff falling out the butt don't worry about it we are also gonna go in with some ground sage y'all know a little bit of this goes a long way you guys so be careful with the sage okay get that stomach or that breast my bad the breast okay and lastly we are going to go in with some salt free onion and herb seasoning that's going to give it a pretty color i love seasonings that have these um like thick chunks when you can see the onion and see the garlic and stuff so this is salt free it smells so good <laughs> it smells so good y'all okay flip it over mm-hmm get them little legs get them little legs mm-hmm 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 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, turn it back over. Okay. Wipe my hands off just a little bit. So what I did, you guys, is I did rip the skin a little bit, if you can see, because I tried to, I wanted to get my finger, be really, really, really careful, because Corner's hen skin is so fragile. Be very careful, you guys. So I did, um, I was able to get up under this side. So what I'm gonna do is just take some salted butter right here. And I'm just going to stick it right up in there. Right up underneath that armpit. Okay, I was also able to pry a opening on this side also, if you can see. See? So I'm going to do the same with this side. Some salted butter. Right. Stuff it right up underneath that skin very very fragile be very 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 careful very careful on this part let's put it some more over here and it's just going to cook within that meat even though we're doing it on the back side it's okay it's still gonna come out so buttery because it's falling I don't know if you guys can see that it's falling towards the breast side but this butter is gonna be distributed it distributed it okay okay cool that's a word this butter is gonna flow through this whole hen so let me see because we're gonna cook it let me turn it back around because we're gonna cook it breast side up like a little tiny turkey okay you guys let me wash my hands really quick you guys a 360 so let me just hit it with a little bit more of this onion and herb hit it with a little bit more of this onion and herb just like that hit it with a little bit more garlic powder this smells so good y'all okay let me give y'all 360 so you guys my oven is heated on 350 this little guy is not big at all so we are going to get him nice and golden brown it shouldn't take too long it's probably going to take maybe about an hour to to bake him off get him nice and crispy get him in the oven and it should be all good i'm not going to add any juice at the bottom or nothing like that okay so let's get this bad boy in the oven, y'all. I'm going to show y'all the finished results. It's going to be golden brown and delicious. Stay tuned. YouTube fam, y'all thought I was playing. Listen, double feature. Look at this slow roasted Cornish hen. Look at this Cornish hen. Look. Y'all. And you see those juices? That is, I didn't put any juice at the bottom of my pan. I let the Cornish hen produce its own juices. And then at the end, I took all of those juices and I ladled it over my hen. It is crispy on the outside, juicy in the middle. We have our vegetables stuffed in there that's just gonna make for more and more flavor you can see the juices all at the bottom here y'all i can't make this up y'all and then it, it the the seasonings that we use with it screams holiday it tastes so good it's so flavorful y'all i'm telling y'all Woo! let me get y'all 360. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I cooked it on 350 for about an hour about an hour and 20 minutes because I got to make sure my uh, food is done look at that y'all and it's so juicy and still so juicy and so tender in the middle you guys Woo! as always I thank you guys so much for tuning in double feature today if you're looking at this video first make sure you hop over and see my nashville hot video 
Love you guys. Stay safe and stay blessed.